for influencer. Whoa. Hello and welcome to Overboard, Polygon's card and board game show. Today, we're playing Battle Spirit Saga, a collectible card game built for strategic play and exciting comebacks. It's a bit more complex than most of the games we play here on Overboard, so we'll go over the basic rules now and fill you in on any other relevant details as we go along. First, both players need to build a deck of at least 50 cards. You'll fill your deck with spirit cards for battling, nexus cards with persistent effects on the gameplay, and magic cards, which are single-use cards with powerful effects. The other key component is a pile of these cores, which are used to summon and power up your cards. They also indicate how much life each player has. Once you've got your decks, both players need to set up their playing fields. Five cores are placed on each player's life track. Another three cores are placed in the reserve, along with a special soul core, which is treated like a regular core, but also has special effects with certain cards. You'll use cores from your reserve to play your cards. The rest of your cores are placed away from your playing area in the void, and you can only access them at specific times. Next, draw four cards from your deck and then decide who's going first. Once you've established that, both players need to decide if they're going to take a mulligan. If you don't like the four cards you drew, you can put them at the bottom of the deck and draw four new cards. But if you like your hand, you can keep it and draw one extra card. Now you're ready to begin. Each turn in Battle Spirit Saga consists of seven steps. This might sound like a lot, but most of these steps are extremely simple. For example, step one is the start step, which is just when you start your turn. Easy. Step two is the core step. The player takes one core from the void and adds it to their reserve. Unless you're the first player, in which case you skip this step on your first turn. Sorry. Step three is the draw step, where you draw a card from your deck. Step four is the refresh step. This is when you'll move any cores from your trash back into your reserve and refresh all of your exhausted spirits on the field so you can use them again in the next step. Step five is the main step, and it's where the real action begins. This is when you can summon spirits, nexus, and magic cards from your hand. Every card has a summoning cost, which you'll pay for in cores by moving them from your reserve or other cards on the field. If you summon a spirit, you'll also need at least one more core, which is placed directly on the card and represents the spirit's level. During the main step, you can place additional cores on your spirits and nexus cards to increase their level and make them more powerful. Each spirit and nexus card will also have at least one of these symbols in the lower right corner. For every one of these symbols on your field, you can pay one less core to play a card. But that doesn't mean you can make all your cards free just by having a bunch of these symbols on the field. Each card also has a reduction limit, located next to its summoning cost. So, for example, this card has one reduction symbol, so its cost can be reduced by one, whereas this card can be reduced by three. You can use these reduction symbols on every card you play, but remember, no matter how much you reduce a spirit card's summoning cost by, you'll still need at least one core on the card. Without it, a spirit is immediately destroyed. So long as you have the cores to pay for them, you can play as many spirit nexus or magic cards as you want during the main step. You can also prepare a special kind of magic card called a burst card by placing it face down on the field. These are special magic cards that you don't have to pay for, but are only activated when certain special conditions are met. Once you're done placing your cards, you can move on to step six, the attack step. This is when you get your chance to knock off some of your opponent's life cores by attacking them with your spirits. Unless you're the first player on your first turn, in which case you must skip this step. Sorry. During the attack step, you can declare a battle by selecting one spirit you want to attack with and exhausting it. As soon as an attack is declared, a flash window is triggered, which gives both players a chance to play cards with this flash symbol from either their hand or the field to help them in battle, as long as they have the cores to pay for them. Once the flash window closes, the defending player needs to make a decision. They can either choose one of their refreshed spirits to block the attack, or they can refrain and take a hit to their life instead, in which case they'll take a core out of their life track and move it to their reserve. If you lose all five of these, you lose the game, so be careful. 
If they choose to block the attack, then a second flash window is triggered, giving you both the chance to play more flash cards. Once the second flash window closes, the battle resumes, and whichever spirit has the highest total BP or battle points is declared the victor. The losing spirit is then sent to that player's trash and any cores on it are moved to the player's reserve. You can attack with as many spirits as you want during your turn, and your opponent can choose to block as many as they're able to. But remember, once your spirit attacks, it gets exhausted until your next turn, which means you can't use it to defend yourself if your opponent decides to attack you on their turn. Finally, after finishing all their battles in the attack step, the player reaches step seven, the end step. This is simply the end of their turn, easy. That's the basics of a turn in Battle Spirit Saga. But remember, with each turn and loss of life, you gain an additional core. So the longer a game goes, the more powerful you become. Your strategy can also change dramatically depending on which color deck you're playing with. And of course, the cards themselves add lots of devious little wrinkles to these rules. But we'll explain those as we go along. For now, it is time to duel. Where, where the hell am I? Welcome to the Polygon Battle Spirit Saga Gauntlet. I am Chrysanthemum, the powerful fairy, and you will not be leaving here until you defeat all three of us. Okay. But before we destroy you, many thanks to Battle Spirit Saga for sponsoring this episode and giving us a bunch of decks to play with. The game releases on April 28th, so if you like the gameplay, head to their website to check out all the latest info. Okay. Who are you talking to? Silence! All right. I'm drawing four cards into my hand. Very well. I will also draw four cards into my hand. To decide who will go first, we must engage in the ancient game of rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, rock, paper, scissors in this realm? Yes. Got it. Okay. You have been bested. So now that we have decided who will go first, um, I since I didn't mulligan, I get to draw another card. I will not mulligan, so I will also draw a card. Very well. All right. Now, since I have won the battle of rock, paper, scissors, I will go first and not take a core from the void. However, I will draw a card. Prepare to taste my yellow fairy magic. What, is it, what does it taste like? It tastes like popsicles. Oh, wow, okay. Yes, <laughs> that's canon. Wow. Um, I will begin by setting a burst card. Mm. And then I will continue by spending two cores. I will summon the almighty Penton, the penguin, as a part of my yellow magic army and put two cores on Penton. At level two and level three, Penton can reduce the cost of the first magic card I use each turn by one mm. and has 3,000 BP. You may go. Cool. Thank you for your permission. I'm gonna do start step, core step, draw step. Let's see here. What's the power on that on that bad boy? 3,000 BP. 3,000 BP, no reason, just love to know things. Great, um, thank you for taking interest in my penguin. No, yeah, you're welcome. I will spend four cores to play Galaxy Dragon, Andrew Meteos. I will mm, place one more on That him. fool. Um, when I summon a Star Dragon Spirit card, I can count each symbol on this spirit as two symbols when calculating cost reduction. He's the most powerful, no, he's not. He's a trusted <laughs> member of my red deck. Okay, well maybe you should learn to trust better people. Mm, okay. Because he's gonna, he's gonna perish. So I take a core, from the void into my reserve, and then I draw a card. And then I refresh. And then I'm going to look at my hand for a while. You get um, really excited about every single step of the game. Just really excited to destroy you, frankly. Mm. I think, I think a lot of things. <laughs> what do you think about Chrysanthemum? I think about, you know, the people of my kingdom. Ah. The penguins, the, um, are the, uh, the other penguins. I'm making Penton 4,000 BP now by putting an additional core on him. Spending two cores to play Flying Arc, a Nexus. 
At level one and level two, during my attack step, all of my spirits with luster gain 2,000 BP. I do not have any spirits currently with luster, however, once I do. And then down. I'll be real scared. Yeah. yeah. And then at level two, mm -hmm. level two, it also gets during opponent's attack step, when one of my spirits with luster is destroyed, return it from my trash to my hand. And now that I am at 4,000 and you are quite powerless, <laughs> I will attack with my penguin. Sure. I will choose to take the damage. Very and well. one core will go to my reserve. Well, that is all. All right. Start step. Core step, draw step, and refresh. Okay, so that's currently at 3,000. 4,000. Oh, 4,000. I will play this rain needle mm. for free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll put one on for now. Play a burst card face down. Mm, burst. And then I will play a divine halberd dragon mm -hmm. arc uh, for one core. Uh, and I'll put one on. Uh, this guy, neither player's life can be reduced by an attack from a spirit that has 2,000 or fewer BP. Very um, well, very well. So there's that. I will okay. then power this guy up to level two. Fair, um, fair. And uh, I'll put one on him up to level two. And let's just power this guy up to three. Interesting. So, Interesting choices. Uh, let's see. You have no spirits that can mm, defend yes, currently. Yes, correct. Um, so My what I'll is exhausted. do is I will attack with Galaxy Dragon Andromedios. Now, now that he's level two, when this spirit attacks, I can reveal the top three cards of my deck, and then I can add one Star Dragon Spirit card from the revealed cards to my hand, uh, and then I'll place the others to the bottom of my deck in any order. That uh, is what I like to call bonkers. It would be bonkers if there were a single Star Trek and Spirit uh, card uh, in my uh, deck, uh, 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 in, my, in these three cards. So I'm gonna put them on the bottom, but the attack is still going to go through. I'm going to attack with well. Galaxy Dragon. As I have no spirits to defend, I lose one life and it goes immediately into my reserve. However, ah. you have activated my burst card. No. <laughs> when I lose life, I place a core from my reserve into my life. Mm. I may then pay this card's cost to activate the flash effect. Um, I simply do not have enough okay. um, cores to pay for the flashback, so that just goes to my discard pile. Okay, I am going to now attack with Divine Halberd Dragon Arc. I simply take the life. Okay. Tis but a scratch. Mm. And... Do it. <laughs> do it. Do, do it. it. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to end my turn there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Your rain needle won't save you next round. Mm, it might, actually, because mm, it's no. not <laughs> Yeah. All right, I take a core from my void into my reserve. I draw a card. Oh, this card. Yeah. This card. Yeah. And then I refresh. Perfect, perfect. I have four, maybe up to six cores at my disposal. I place another burst card. Mm. Hmm, and then, hmm. Is everything okay, Chrysanthemum? Everything's great. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's great. Okay. And I'm just, you know, taking my time sure. to destroy you. Sure. One, two, three, four cores. Okay. Wonderland Alice, Ooh. the other lander. And I am going to put two cores onto Wonderland Alice, okay. putting her at 6,000 BP. Mm. With the effects at level two and level three, when the spirit attacks, select one of your opponent's spirits, reduce its BP by 1,000 for each spirit you control during this turn. Mm. At level three, which I am not at, but I need you to prepare for. <laughs> okay. During either attack step, if you control three or more spirits, when this spirit would be destroyed, you may place a core from the void onto it to keep it onto the field exhaustion uh, instead. Okay. Now then, I see you have your 4,000 rain needle. Correct. You're at 6,000 currently? <laughs> yes. Got it. Good to know. Oh, okay. I think, I think I know what trick you have up your sleeve. Yeah. Then I should attack right now. Okay. I'm doing it. 
So you are attacking with Wonderland Alice. Wonderland two. Alice, which is at six thousand. And are there any effects I need to know yes, at this I moment? Yes, I select one of your opponent's spirits, reduce its BP by one thousand for each spirit I control during this turn. So on the attack, obviously. right? So which one will you be targeting? I will be targeting Rain Needle, of course. Okay, so Reducing then... Rain Needle to a mere two thousand. Got it. So six thousand versus potentially two thousand. And that one is at what? My penguin is at one thousand. Mm. I know you can you can taste oh. your demise already. Oh, can't uh, you? It also tastes like popsicles. I'll take yeah. <laughs> a hit uh, on that. Then I feel like you also might get rid of him. My wonderful, wonderful little lad. Mm. But you're only down to two thousand. Correct. Curses. Mm. Curses. Mm. That's all I have to say. Is that all you have to say? No, that, I also have to say it is your turn now. Got it, thank you. Yes. Uh, all right, start step, core step, draw step, refresh. Okay, so old Alice is just exhausted and... You know, I will admit. Y yes? You have the toughest opponent <laughs> I've faced in a while. Really? Oh, wow, that's very flattering. Yes, yes. Um, Normally, I'd have you completely obliterated by now. Mm. Uh, I will spend one core to play another Divine Halberd Dragon Arc. Disgusting. Um, and then I will put, let's put one core on that for now. <laughs> let's, let's switch I don't some like things. the sound let's, of that Let's laugh. switch some things around. You shouldn't be laughing during I'm battle. I'm gonna move some cores. I know it's a very deadly serious yes. uh, game. I'm gonna put the cores on this one. Okay. Uh, so now this powers up to 4,000 on level two. Uh, and when the spirit attacks, I can select one of your spirits with 2,000 or fewer BP. You wouldn't dare. I think I would. Uh, no. I'm going to attack no, 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 uh, no, no, with no, no. Divine Halberd Dragon Arc, and I'll be destroying your Penton. Now, what if I told you my penguin wouldn't like that? Uh, I would still do it. Very well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the core goes into my reserve and Penton. To hell. I <laughs> disagree. I firmly disagree. There's uh, a very special place that fairies go to. Not a center, I And see. it's it's nowhere close to what you're thinking of, okay? Got it. Great. Okay. My apologies. Thank you. Um, and then I'm going to hit you with, we'll do another Divine Halberd Dragon Arc. Hitting people isn't nice. Uh, okay. You've hit me twice so far. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> um, well. That's uh, 3,000. Well, you know. I'll take this one. Okay. Just this one. Yeah. Just this one time. Sure, this one time. Yes. How about a second time? Uh, I'm going to hit you with, uh, let's do, we'll do Galaxy Dragon. I will hit you again. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You know? Yeah. Never say never, this is the second time. Second time's the charm. And then this one I'll just wait on. And I won my turn. You, um. You have me in quite the rough position here. Mm. But uh, my power is just getting started. I'm looking forward to so it. So you know. Okay, yeah. You see this core? Yeah, the one it's we going, get every turn. It's going into my reserve. Wow. You better watch out for that, okay? And this card I'm about to draw? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. I got the card I need to defeat you. I'm very happy for you. This is amazing. That's great. This is so good. Yeah. Oh, I'm holding my hand backwards. <laughs> mm. It's just that exciting. I, I, can, I no, get I'm it. I'm thrilled. I get it. I'm like delirious at this point. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh no, it's back to thinking time. <laughs> oh boy. Our, your favorite time I've yes. noticed. I mean, I'm just going to start with the most important card. Great. I'd love to see it. See ya. Uh, you thought you were clever. Okay. Getting rid of my Penton. Sure. But uh, I don't know if you know how fairies work. I would love to know. We have multiple penguins, so there we go. That's how fairies work, is you have multiple penguins? In, in our realm, yes. Okay, got yes, it, it's, You don't realize how many penguins we have. At like, least two. They're, they're quite slow getting here, but like the army sure. is on their way. Yeah. Okay, okay, three options here, three options here. I get one, two, three, so I spend, I get three discounts, so I spend four cores to summon 
Archangel Michaela. Mm. Um, and I put one core on her. At level one and two, when summoned, reveal one card from the top of your deck for each yellow spirit and nexus you control. Add all magic cards from the revealed card to your hand. Return any remaining cards to the bottom of your deck in any Ooh, order. exciting. So that's one, two, three. How much four. power is on that? Currently 4,000. Got it. And <laughs> two, three. And is that a when summoned four. effect? It is. I love burst cards. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to draw two cards. Oh, very well, very well. Um, and I will not. Oh, I can't even do it. Anyway. I don't think. I can okay, do anyway. there so. are, um, there are three magic cards out of the ones that I pulled, so I get to put those in my hand, and okay. then this goes at the bottom of my deck. Mm. Lovely. And I have one, potentially two more cores to play with. This I simply don't have enough for, or this one, or this one. So I'm gonna use this one. Kind of. Projecting. Yeah, not much of a bluffer, are you? Not any. <laughs> yeah. Us fairies are very honest people. I appreciate that um, about you. Yeah. Now, I do. I. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a precarious <laughs> position. Okay. I'm starting to feel scared. Mm. Just now. Hmm. I'm a. Okay. With this one. Sure. And Rain Needle, silly little Rain Needle, goes down to 1,000 BP. Because I control three spirits, which is pretty cool. Okay, so it's down to 1,000, okay. and that has how much? This has 6,000. Okay. And that has? This has? 3,000. 3,000. And that one has? 4,000. And that effect, is that for the whole turn? And for the whole turn. Okay. During this so right, basically, this, this is at a thousand for the whole turn. Yes. Um, then I will take a hit. Okay. You know what? Uh, Pentan swing and get ready. Okay. So that is <laughs> three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Okay. I am going to play a flash card. Mm. Uh, I'm going to spend uh, oh, no. one, <laughs> two course to play Big Bang Energy. Select one spirit, it gains 2,000. So this is up to 3,000 now. Uh, and okay. that, and your Penton is at 3,000, correct? My Penton is at 3,000, correct. Okay, so then I will uh, block it with this. I see, bringing your Rain Needle up to? 3,000. So 3, they are total. both tied at the moment. I see, interesting. Mm. Then, I believe, for free, Ooh. I get to cast Angelic Pressure. Okay. Um, the reason I get to cast it for free is because my lovely, lovely little penguin has the ability at level two to reduce the cost of the first magic card I okay. use each turn by one. Angelic Pressure. Okay. And I will be reducing Rain Needle's BP by 3,000 for Oof. the remainder of this turn. Okay. Then that means it will be destroyed. And then, just to make me feel a little bit better about myself. <laughs> I, yeah, your self-esteem is important. Going to swing for one. Okay, I will take a hit. Great. Okay, your turn. All right, uh, start step, core step, draw step, refresh step. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna spend three cores. Okay, okay. To play Nebula, Dragon, Andromeda. That's a silly, uh, silly Is it silly? I think, dragon. It's, I think it's quite noble. Uh, select one well, when summoned. Uh, select one of your opponent's spirits with 3,000 or fewer BP and destroy it. So I will get rid of. Uh, no, anybody hit but him, please. <laughs> please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Goodbye, Penton. I'm going to cry. I mean, I hear there's a lot more of you. So. There, there are, but I love each one. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then I will spend three cores. Oh wait, that was a one summoned effect? Yes, right. it was. Rut row. You know, this really isn't gonna make a difference, but I'm doing it anyway! You've okay. activated my burst card! Mm. Um, when an opponent resolves a spirit's one summoned effect, during this turn, reduce the BP of all your opponent's spirits by 1,000 for each nexus they control, which is zero. Thanks. But you activated it, and I want you to know that. I appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, I will now then play with three cores a blazing boar. 
uh, uh -huh. which, when uh -huh. summoned, okay. select a red spirit card uh, from my trash and return it to my hand. And then I'll play a rain needle for free. Mm. Oh wait, I don't have a core for that. Wow, that's uh, embarrassing. That's so wow. So now wow. I do. I'll uh, just take uh, it off okay. of this guy. Okay. Uh, okay. I think this might be enough, but we'll see. You I might have, have some magic. You might have some magic hand. cards in there. <laughs> I'm going to attack first with Divine Halberd, Dragon Arc. It's three thousand. Mm -hmm. This is quite the pickle you've put me in. <laughs> okay. And you know. I hate pickles, frankly. Mm. Never eat them. Sure. What do you eat? Um, chicken. Chicken. <laughs> I love chicken. What do your How do your penguin subjects feel about that? It's fine. They're very different. <laughs> They're very, very different. That's fair. They are very different. Um, ones. Yeah. I think this is this is my dying wish, and this is Alex. Well, you have two life left. Dying. You're, not, you're, not dead. you're not dead quite yet. Okay. 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 Now listen, I. Might not have the gift of foresight, but I, I can tell when I'm about to be bested. So, okay. I'm going to kill off Wonderland, Alice. Thank you, Alice. Mm. In order to get two more cores, mm. for four cores. Sure. Regain. Select Ooh. one of my spirits that is not currently attacking and refresh it. So this way. Okay. This way, I can take one less damage. Got it. So and that. that is how fairies roll. We fight. No, I last, admire. I admire your courage. Till the last drop. So you use this to block this. Yes, correct. All right. So then, uh, uh, please exhaust it. Oh yes, yes, yes. Sorry about that. Anyways. Now <laughs> I am attacking you with this. And now I will take the head. And f well, not finally. I don't know what magic cards you have, but I will attack with Divine Halberd Dragon Arc. Now that you're attacking me, and I only have one life left. Mm -hmm. All I have to say is, mm. I'm sorry about that flower petal. <laughs> All I have to say yeah. is you were a magnificent opponent. Mm. And while I wish that you are destroyed in this dungeon, mm. um, it will not be at my hand, so. Well, Chrysanthemum, I learned a lot about you and your people and your lore and your inner monologue, but it was a well-fought match. I still don't know where the hell I am. Well, now that you have bested me and proved yourself to be a worthy opponent, I grant onto you the powers of yellow magic and my penguins and fairies. Lead them into battle in a way that I could not. I know how important your companions are to you. Yes. So I will take this with great honor, and I will do you proud. Thank you. Do I not get those cards too? Um, no, you, you you get these ones too. Okay, Sorry great. about that. Thank you. I was yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Appreciate it. Oh, that's right. Oh, <laughs> what's happening? <sighs> Where are you? Welcome, interloper, to the realm of white. As the white deck commander, I will leverage incredible defensive strategies to stop you cold. In fact, I'm pretty defensive myself. Mm. A lot of people say I'm the most defensive person they've ever met. Okay, that, that's really cool. Do you deny my defensiveness? I don't, I uh, don't have time for this. I uh, am going to leave, uh, but it was nice to meet you. I'm, I'm getting out of here. <sighs> okay. Welcome, interloper, to the realm of white. Here in the realm of white, we honor the tradition of rock, paper, scissors. Allow me to explain the rules. No, I got, I know rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Strategy wins again. What was your strategy on that? I can't reveal that, that's proprietary information. Got it, yeah, that makes sense. I will not be mulliganing. I will be uh, keeping my hand. Great, I will also not be mulliganing. As I bested you in our first contest of tactics, I will be going first, so I'll do my start step. I've started. Mm. Core step, I skip because I won. Mm -hmm. Draw step. And refresh step. Nothing to refresh. Mm. Let the battle commence. Right. Fortress Metropolis, 
Now I'm in city. When you summon a machine beast card that has cost of six or more, count the symbol on this nexus as three white symbols. Mm. You comprehend? I do. Very well. And I pay the full cost of that. And I yield my turn. Got it. Start step. Core step. Draw step. Let's see here. I'm going to spend two cores to play Penton. Uh, a very dear friend of mine, Chrysanthemum, that gifted me uh, this, this companion. Um, so uh, I can reduce the cost of the first magic card uh, I use each turn by one. If I put up level two, we'll see if I do that. I'm just gonna put on the field. We call it a field? It, that's what it says, <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you, what was your name again? I didn't come Did up you, with one. Got it, do you have one now? Commander Pat. Commander Pat. Well, it's it's support. Commander Scientist Pat. Commander Scientist Pat. Chief Engineer Pat. Chief Engineer Pat. Yes. Got it. Thank you, Chief Engineer Pat. Uh, I should have uh, read. I will go ahead and just power it up to full. Um, and what the heck? I will go ahead and attack. <laughs> no, this is impossible. <laughs> yeah. I'm a defensive master, I never predicted this. <laughs> I take the damage. Mm. And then I will end my turn. Start step, core step, draw step. Refresh step, main step. No, you do your refresh step. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chief Engineer, have you played this game before? I have a lot on my plate. I, I see. For the cost of five cores, I play Mecha Beast Fortress Namengard. Draw three cards, place three cores from the void into your reserve when destroyed. I see. And is that the only effect I need to know about right now? If I reach level two, perform a refresh step after your attack step. This effect may only be used once per turn. Got it. And I yield my turn. Okay. Start step, core step, draw step, refresh step. Could you drink that a little louder? I would love that so much. I will spend one core to play another Penton. I will, hmm, that guy's, that guy's beefy. I don't like it. So I think I will just power this guy up to level two. I'm going to end my turn. Very well. Start step, core step, draw step, refresh step, I summon Valkyrie Mist, the okay. android. When summoned, select one of your opponent's spirits that costs seven or fewer and return it to their hand. First, I gotta pay for it. Ah, well, cost well, me what happened there, Chief Engineer? Yeah, nothing. Okay. Just clearing my throat for tactical reasons mm. so that I may enunciate your defeat. I choose your big pentan. Okay. This goes in my reserve. Mm hmm. And then this goes into my hand. Uh, I'm very defensive. Yeah, I can tell. You will never penetrate my defenses. I did already once, but... It, that was a free one, and I let you have it. So I... you could briefly savor the taste of victory, which I will now rip from you. I attack with Valkyrie Mist. Okay, uh, then I will go ahead and block so it is destroyed. Unless flashcards happen. No. Okay. Bold move. And I attack with Mecha Beast Fortress Nomengard for 10,000. Right. I mean, that is one hit, but it's a big number. Uh, I will take the hit. I end my attack phase, and I refresh Mecha Beast Nomengard, as is allowed by my level two modifications. Understood. Start step, core step, draw step, refresh. I will uh, bring back an old friend. Mm with one Penton. I thought I'd seen the last of you. I will play uh, Blessed Cathedral. Once in, when it's in play for level one, place a core from the void into your reserve. When one of your yellow spirits is destroyed, there is a level two effect, but it's not currently activated. Put the, this core on something. Since I have it, I'll just put it on this guy. And I will end my turn. Start step, core step, 
Draw step. Refresh step. Where did you get your necklace, Chief Engineer, Pat? I don't believe you have it in your realm. What? The mysterious vendor. Ah, uh, okay. Hot Topic. Ah, uh, <laughs> wow. Um, what is Hot Topic in your realm? It's a shop where uh, people with alternative tastes can get you know, goods, trip pants, uh, t-shirts with dungeon or dragon characters on them in a shopping mall next to a place where we have these long breadsticks curled around in on themselves. Are you sure we're not in the, we don't live in the same realm? I can't imagine somebody as dull as yourself would come from my realm. Got it. Okay. I play Rocket City. Mm. When one of your spirits blocks, it gains 1,000 BP during this turn. At level two, when your opponent draws outside of their draw step, they must discard a card. I invest uh, okay. two. I invest two in Fortress Metropolis. Now I'm in city, and now on defense, all of my spirits gain 1,000 BP. Got it. And did that one also do that? Yes. So all your guys basically have 2,000 defense plus. Yes. Got it. Okay. You understand basic math. I see this is going to be quite a challenge. Got it. Yeah. You know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I yield my turn. <laughs> All right, we'll do a start step, core step, draw step, refresh step. This is three cores to play Angel Throne. I will put a core in it. I can, when summoned, select a yellow magic card that costs four or fewer from your trash and return it to your hand. However, I do not have one, so that doesn't matter. And then, you know, let's actually boost it up to two. I will... End my turn. Your core step? Mm -mm. Start step. You didn't do your starts, yeah. Core step. Yeah. Draw step. Refresh step. I play Machine Beast Pegasion. Mm. Okay. At a cost of two, I transfer one orb. They're called cores, Chief Engineer. One. Advanced engineers are allowed to call them orbs, and I move this from Rocket City, so Rocket City no longer has the ability to prevent you from, or to cause you to discard cards outside of your turn. Okay. But we have a level two Pegasion. If the spirit has a soul core on it, it can block your opponent's spirits with two or fewer cores on them, even if it's already exhausted. Oh, okay, so it can yes. basically block twice block, if block multiple times. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I rest, okay. as God did after creating all things. <laughs> I have questions. God, what is your God? Well, it As depends on the step. person and region and upbringing. There are a lot of them. But which one do you believe in? We don't have time to go into Oh, that. okay. I, you're the one who brought it up. This is a sponsored I, video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll place a first card. Um, I can play this for free because thanks to my pentons, a Gleam of Hope, which lets me draw a card. Uh, so I will do that. Okay. I will spend two cores to play a Gale Yale, uh, and I will put one core on it for now. Um, and then, I see now why the white deck is so feared, because it's very annoying to get past your defense. You find it annoying? Uh, yes, I do, frankly. It's actually very tactically sound. No, I help. agree. I, I'm not in disagreement there. I think I will just put a core on and let's end our turn, yeah. Okay, start step, core step, draw step. Main step, dub step, remember that? Uh, 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 just so we're on, it's the same as in your realm, right? Dubstep. What is it in your realm? I want to know what it is in your realm first. It's a, it's a, it's, it was a form of music that uh, was popular around, I'd say, probably 2011 to 2012 in our realm. Uh, it what was, is your realm called? Pardon me. What is your realm called? I think I might be playing another card here. Just okay, you're here. just dodging that question. Yes. I see. <clears throat> oh, refresh step. They're listed here in case you need, you need like a reference. I am going to be playing <laughs> Valkyrie Mist. Oh, I can't afford that. My money situation is tight right now. Um, I attack with Mecha Beast Fortress Nomengard. Mm. Do you defend? 
So that's 10,000. Uh, I, uh, I will take the hit, but I'll play my burst card and get that back. Predictable. I yield my turn. Okay. And I refresh my Mecha Beast Fortress Nomen Guard. That is a very handy ability. To do. It's nice. All right, start step, core step, draw step, and refresh. I will spend four. So I'll use these three, and I will move, let's just move one of these, to play Archangel Michaela. Um, so when summoned, let me put a core on it, I'll take it from this Penton. Um, I can reveal one card from the top of my deck for each yellow spirit and nexus I control, uh, add all magic cards to my hand, and then I can return any to the bottom of the, or whatever's left to the bottom of the deck in any order. So that's six, so I can reveal Six cards. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Do you see them? Okay, it's just kind of great. Uh, and also. Ooh. Mm. Okay. And these are going on the bottom. Mm. Uh, and that is exactly how you should do it when you're playing this game for real. Uh, that's proper conduct. Let's move these onto here. And then. We're gonna put a burst card down. I'm gonna go ahead and attack with Gale Yale. I block with Mecha Beast Fortress Gnomon Guard. Okay. With the defensive capacity of 12,000. Okay. Um, so that is destroyed. But thanks to my Blessed Cathedral, I get a core from the void into my reserve when a yellow spirit is destroyed. I'm attacking with Archangel Michaela. Well, I take it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and so you take the hit. No matter. Now I'm going to attack with Angel Throne for 3,000. I block with Pegasion at a value of 6,000. Okay. And I will not be flashing. So then for my flash window, I'm going to select with Angelic Pressure for free uh, because of my Pentons. Uh, I'm gonna select this spirit and reduce its BP by 3,000. So you are down to 3,000. 3, so that means they will both be destroyed. Very well. A gambit well played. Are you okay? It, you, you seem a little affected by that. Mm, no. Um, no. And also, because it was a yellow spirit, I get another core from the void into my reserve. And that's allowed. And yes. we allow this. If you. Go by the written rules on the cards, yes. Um, Very well. No matter, a defensive master can fight back from anything. Well, that's good to know. Uh, I'm gonna attack you with Penton. Okay. <laughs> mm, my defensive plan is working perfectly. Glad to hear it. Perhaps I should have played more than one card. <laughs> that might have helped, Chief Engineer. This ain't it, Chief Engineer. <laughs> You know, uh, I need to get these hits in while I can, so uh, I'm going to attack with Pentile. Mm. Bold, but foolhardy. Mm. And then I will end my turn. A lot's happened. I've got this one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, good, I got it. No problem. Core step. Start step. Start step. Before core step, we know this as experts in defense. Mm. Draw step? Yes. Hmm. This would have been useful. <laughs> Before, yeah. Refresh step. At a cost of three cores, I play Sky Dragon Lord Platinum. Mm. A mecha who, when summoned, returns all spirits with 3,000 or fewer BP to their owner's hands. Okay. You did a when summoned effect. I'm going to play this burst card. Uh, I'm going to reduce the BP of all of your opponent's spirits by 1,000 for each nexus. So for this turn, all your spirits have uh, 2,000 less. No um, matter. I continue? Yes. I play Valkyrie Mist, an android whom, when summoned, allows me to select one of my opponent's spirits that costs seven or fewer and return it to their hand. Okay, okay. And I target Archangel Michaela. Mm, I, that's so that goes into my hand, all right. I play a burst card just because I feel like it. Sure. 
Because tactically, it's the best decision defensively. I, I didn't ask. Mm -hmm. I attack with Valkyrie Mist. Okay. I will play a flash card. Uh, I'm going to spend uh, five cores. I'm going to be burning force. These are, this is at 3,000 right now because of my exhaust nexus. Mm -hmm. This is less. I will destroy both of them with burning force. <laughs> You're playing directly into my hands. Uh, okay. I wanted to win. <laughs> right. Listen, I wanted to, I want to win too. I get it. I attack with Mecha Beast Fortress Nomen Guard. All right, I will take the hit. I refresh Mecha Beast Fortress Nomen Guard. And I rest. All right. Start step. Core step. Draw step. Refresh step. Okay. It's a lot of it's <laughs> a lot of cores. Thank you. My blessed cathedral has been good to me. Uh, I'm going to spend two cores to play a Penton. Remember that band, The Cores? <laughs> Popular sort of in the mid to late 90s. They were Irish, I think. Wow. Irish. Come so on, so you have on. Ireland in your realm, which is Earth, which is the same realm as me. Do you have, you have a place called Ireland? Yeah. It, it doesn't sound as cool as ours. Really? What's the difference? It's, it's sort of the vibe that I get. Got it. Okay. I will then play another Penton. Uh, so that's going to be uh, one, a uh, one, and then one on it, and then let's do an mm. angel throne, mm. uh, which I will spend three, uh, put one on it. Uh, that lets me select, uh, when summon starts, get a yellow magic card that costs four or less. Uh, let's do that. I'll take this one. Then let's do four cores for Archangel Michaela. Uh, when summoned, reveal one I'm card so from the top of your deck it. for each yellow. So, five. I just didn't think he was going to be so good at it. Yeah. Here, you want, you want to look at these? There he thinks. Okay. So, magic cards. Uh, let's see. All the magic cards go into my hand. The rest will go on the bottom. I think it's time to, to party. Um, I'll go ahead and put another one on here, just in you case. You wouldn't want it to be underpowered. Right, exactly. Let's do, uh, let's attack with, uh, you know, Chrysanthemum would want me to save these for last, so let's attack with uh, Angel Throne. In this moment, I could deny your precious Pentan the greatest pleasure <laughs> of their little life. Mm. It doesn't matter that much to me uh, how you lose. I block. Okay. So, this is destroyed. Penton. Attack Chief Engineer Pat. This is for you, Chrysanthemum. I don't know why I'm so friendly. Well, she was actually very rude to me, but you know. In our realm, we have a medium called anime and a common trope in that mm. is once you've sort of bested somebody, they become part of your, you know, your posse, your, mm. your cadre. That explains and why And you start I to feel see like... the positive things about their personality, not just the negative things. Right, I feel like we're best friends at this point. You Wouldn't and Chrysanthemum? You oh no, no, you, you and me. Well, I haven't been defeated yet. Oh, that's true. Okay, now are we best friends, or? Uh... <sighs> Interloper, you know all my life I've prided myself in being defensive, putting up walls, barricades, mechanical elephants. And perhaps what I needed all along was to let somebody in. And I'm glad that somebody was you. I'm glad too. Please take my elephants, take my little ladies, and my, my walls, and my and my robot dragons, and lead them to victory, as I couldn't. I will, if you admit that we are from the same realm. They sound pretty different. What? Well, what's yours called? Oh! oh I guess we don't have time! Oh! Oh, oh, okay, I, yeah, another one, got it. Greetings, I am Porphyria, queen of night, death, illness, Pestilence, tax season, sinus infections specifically, mm. um, and snakes as uh, well. Mm. And curses and blood curses, which you'll become very familiar with, mortal. 
Are you ready to play a game with me? It may be your last. For if you defeat me, you can leave this place. I mean, if it's just one more of you, yeah, this is pretty fun. Why not? Right, why not? That's my philosophy as well. In my realm, we do this thing, you might not have heard of it, um, rock, paper, scissors. Right, yes, I'm, I'm You're familiar? familiar? Yes. Oh, well, all right. In that case, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, it's not boding well for me. <laughs> you, you crumble easily, I think. <laughs> wow. You had such a confidence about you. I don't know, I'm surprised. No, I've got it back again now. I feel great. Mm. Feel really healthy. I will be mulliganing. Oh, really? Yes. Will you be mulliganing? I shan't. Oh, I am gonna start, do a start step, a core step. Oh no, first player for the first time, okay. No, no, no. I'm going to be doing a start step. I will not be doing a core step, because I'm the first player. I will do a draw step. There's nothing to refresh. Main step, let's see here. Spend four cores, and I will play Fortress Metropolis Nauman City. This card was given to me by my best friend, Chief Engineer Pat, um, very dear friend of mine. Um, <laughs> a weak man. Oh, during your main step, when you summon a machine beast spirit card that costs six or more, count the symbol on this nexus as three white symbols and that will be it for me. What a powerful card. I agree. Start step, core step, draw step. Mmm. Refresh step, I can refresh nothing. However, I will play Boa Trictor. While this spirit attacks, it is cursed. If one of your opponent's spirits blocks, destroy it when the battle ends. Uh, okay. I will pay three. I will animate it with two, giving it 3,000 BP. But I shall end my turn there. All right. Uh, I will start step, core step, draw step, refresh step. I will spend uh, four cores to play Type 90 Tank Mobile. Um, this card has armor against red and white. Um, for level one, I will put one core on it. Uh, and uh, I think uh, I'm going to attack. Let's attack. Don't do that. I can do nothing to block that. All right. And I will end my turn. All right. Start step, core step. Draw step. Ah ha ha. Refresh step. In my main step, I shall play, I shall pay three to summon Dark Knight Cavalier. When summoned, I draw a card. I place two cores on Dark Knight Cavalier, bringing him to 4,000 BP. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, sounds exciting. Great things are happening over here. I am going to attack you with Boa Trictor. All right, I will take the hit. And I end my turn. All right. All right, I will do start step, core step, draw step, refresh step. I will spend three cores oh. to play Buster Fenrir Cannon. No. Uh, yes. When this spirit block, oh, well, level two and onward, when this spirit blocks, return all of your opponent's spirits that cost two or fewer um, to their hand, but it's not powered up just yet. Um, and then, so that's at 4,000, and that one is exhausted. Exhausted. Um, I will just power- Just like me. Uh, I will power this up to level three. Uh, I don't know, oh, on level two, I mean. I will oh. power it up to level two. It now has 6,000 power, and now it has armor against red, purple. No! Uh, this spirit cannot be selected by the effects of your opponent's spirits, nexuses, or magic of the specified colors. I will go ahead and attack with type 90 tank mobile for 6,000. 6,000. What can I do but, um, actually, you know, 
No, I'll just take it. <laughs> Ooh, it took a lot of turns. Okay. Just thinking about things. I've got a lot of choices to sure. make. Sure. Uh, and then I will end my turn. Of course, of course. All right. Start step. Core step. Draw step. Interesting. Early fresh. Step. I should place burst guard mm -hmm. face down. And now I'm going to play a card called Deadly Balance. Your opponent selects one of their spirits, then select one of your spirits. Destroy both spirits. Oh, okay. Choose mortal. Interesting. Okay. I'll just destroy um, my Type 90 tank mobile. Wonderful. I shall destroy my Boa Trictor. All right. And then as part of my main phase, I shall play a Boa Trictor. Got it. <laughs> um, paying two, animating it. Oh, and then, why not simply play a Rotting Swamp? This is my Nexus. During your attack step, draw a card when one of your spirits is destroyed. Mm. Uh, at level two, which this is not mm. yet. Once per turn, when one of your serpent spirits would be destroyed, you may discard a card to return it to your hand instead. I attack with Dark Lancer Cavalier at 4,000 BP. Okay. I will spend oh. two cores, and I used my soul core uh, to play Suppression as a flash card. I select a spirit, it gains 3,000 BP this turn, and because I spent the soul core, it can block while exhausted during this turn. So I will block, so uh, unless you're gonna play a flash card, it will be destroyed. It will be destroyed, and because of my Nexus Rotting Swamp, I will draw a card. Okay. And alas, goodbye, Dark Lancer Cavalier. And now that my attack step is over, I end my turn. Sometimes it seems like you're not sure of things, or is that trailing off, or it's, is that? It's um, up speak. Ah, uh, Yeah, see. I yeah. See. I see. A lot of underworld denizens do it. Got it, so you're it's from not, the underworld. Yeah. Because the last guy was clearly from Earth, but just wouldn't admit it. But yeah, well. I'm appreciating that this is actually like a different realm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Start. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't complain. Okay, cool. Uh, start step, core step, draw step, refresh step. Let's spend three cores to play a Type 90 tank mobile. Disgusting. Uh, and we'll power it up. Let's power it up all the way, just so that I can get that purple armor on there. Um, and then I will first attack with um, Buster Fender Cannon for 3,000. All right. I am going to block with Boa Trick Tour okay. for 3,000. All right. I have nothing to play. Okay. So I believe they're both destroyed. Alas. Okay. Farewell, sweet Boa Trictor. And then uh, I will attack with Type 90 Technobile. And I can do nothing except activate my burst card, ah. Absolute Ice Shield. When you lose life, place a core from your reserve into your life. I will end my turn. Interesting, thank you. Start step, core step, draw step, <laughs> refresh step. I play Dark Knight Aglavale. When Dark Knight Aglavale is destroyed, draw a card if this spirit has a soul core on it. And at level two, while this spirit attacks, it is cursed, which means if you block, your spirit will be destroyed. Unless, of course, you're immune to my <laughs> curse. <laughs> ah! mm. Mm. But continuing on, I shall pay one to bring out another Dark Knight Aglavale and place my soul core <laughs> on it. And while I'm here with just three cores left, I will play the Nexus Netherworld Depths. Draw a card when one of your opponent's spirits is exhausted, and at level two, 
When one of your spirits is blocked, you may pay one core from this nexus to destroy your opponent's blocking spirit when the battle ends. However, I shall place no cores on the nexus during this time. I shall simply attack you. <laughs> Me? You! With Dark Knight Aglavale. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, spend two cores. Not again. To play Suppression. I will select a spirit. This one, it gains 3,000. I used my soul core so it can block while exhausted during this turn. So mm. uh, I play that and I, uh, would you like to play a flash card? I shan't. So I believe that is destroyed. Ah, oh, the pain, the pain. Because of my rotting swamp, mm. lest we forget, I draw a card when one of my spirits is destroyed. Mm. And in that case, I shall end my turn. All right. Start step, core step, draw step, refresh step. I'm going to spend three uh, cores to play Fortress God Knight Odin Type X. I'm going to put um, three cores on it. What this guy does is during opponent's attack step, if I control a white nexus, I can refresh the spirit at the start of the step. Ooh. And also, when the spirit attacks or blocks, I may select an opponent's spirit that costs three or fewer and return it to their hand. Uh, go to my attack step. Mm. I will do this first. I will attack, mm. and I'm going to select this to put into your hand. Mm. Mm. I, the, I can do nothing. Then you lose a, a life. <coughs> <coughs> I'm losing my life every <laughs> second that I am I'm here. Very sorry to hear that. I mean, I think I think I just gotta I gotta go for the hits. So I'm going to you attack cruel again mortal with Type 90 Tankmobile. I can do nothing. I can do nothing. Uh, uh, and then uh, I will uh, end my turn. Start step. Core step. Draw step. Ah, I also draw a card when one of your opponent's experience, spirits is exhausted, so I will just draw a couple more sure. there. Sure, yes. Interesting, great. Okay, refresh step. Okay. Now we've got something to cook with, Ooh. as they say. I place a burst guard. Is that what out. they say? And now we've got something to cook with? It is, after they go to the, the mortals, they go to the grocery store. Sure. And they buy produce yeah. and meats and things. And yes. they, when they come home, they say, now I've got something to cook with. <laughs> and what it means is they're about to prepare something delicious mm. that will, mm. um, in, in their case, I guess, invigorate them, give them health. In my case, it means destroying your life. I see. Okay. In my realm, they usually just go like, now we're cooking. You know, now no. we're cooking. <laughs> but in your realm, they're very excited about the fact that they have something to cook. <laughs> the actual act of cooking, they apparently don't care about very much at all. Yeah. I got it, okay. Yeah, yeah that's how it is. I see. Okay. That's sure. what they say. That's what they say. Well, in any case, because I have two nexuses on the field, mm. giving me a core discount for each, mm. I shall play Camelot Knight mm. for free. Ah. This spirit gains curse if it has a soul core on it. While this spirit attacks, of course, if you block me, you will be destroyed. Mm. I animate him with one. I play another Camelot Knight. Mm. I animate him with one. Right. Finally some cannon fodder nice. to cook with. Sure. I shall play Dark King Snake Pendocles, costing me four, if my math is correct. Mm. Dark King Snake Pendocles, when summoned, select one of your opponent's spirits, remove all but one core from it, and uh -huh. place them in their reserve. Okay. Which one of you is worse for me? Oh, you're the one against the armor. Go away. Okay, okay. I don't think you could have taken cores off of this because it can't be affected by purple things. Oh, no. But you know what? It's too late. I didn't notice it. Oh, we'll move no. on. Um, at level two and three, which this spirit is, select one of your opponent's spirits, remove a core from it, and place it into their trash when this spirit attacks which is not now. All right, um, and then I shall pay one to bring back Dark Knight 
Ag Lavelle, mm -hmm. um, and pop him up to level two, which will give him curse. Now I see both of your spirits are exhausted. I am going to attack with the dark. If I may interrupt. Or no! Surely a white nexus, which means I can refresh the spirit at the start of that step. So true. Now I am attacking with dark king snake Pendocles. Okay. When the spirit attacks, I can select one of my opponent's spirits and remove a core from it and place it in your trash. I am of course going to remove a core from, do you mind? Uh, Fortress God Knight Odin Type X. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bringing him down to a mere 3,000. Uh, I will take the hit. All right. I think I shall end my turn. All right. Start step. Core step. Draw step. Refresh step. I will spend uh, three to play a Buster Fenrir Cannon. I'll oh, place yeah. one on it for now. I will spend two cores to play another Nexus, Rocket City. Uh, during your attack step, when I block, I gain 1,000 BP. So basically, on defense, they all get 1,000, uh, plus 1,000 BP. And, well, let's bring this guy back up to, you got, you got a lot of stuff going on. What, what, what are these again? Uh, these guys are, well, this guy's cursed. This guy's just cheap. This guy's also cursed. But that only that only applies when I block. Yeah. This okay. is just a guy. It's just guys. Just a guy. guy. These are just guys. Great. Okay. Great. Don't freak out. I'm not. I'm not freaking out. Okay. Uh, this kind of seems like you're freaking out. Does it seem like I'm freaking out right now? What? <laughs> you're like, I'm you projecting. Know. I see. I see. Yeah. I will attack with Fortress God Knight Odin Type X. Um, I get to select an opponent's spirit that costs three or fewer, and return it to their hand. So I will pick that one. This guy. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Uh, will you be blocking? Uh, yeah, baby. I'm gonna block with this guy. Okay. Uh, so it will be destroyed. Okay. Of course. So I'll attack with Buster Fenrir Cannon. Oh God. Three thousand. Your spirit is exhausted, so I'll draw a card. And as a flash action, mm -hmm. which I can do now. Yes. I will pay three to select one of your opponent's spirits and return it to their hand. Mm -hmm. And I have chosen Buster Fen Fenrir Cannon. Yes. Okay, so this goes Who back into in my midst. hand before the attack even landed. <sighs> All right. You know, let's let's keep going. I'm going to attack with the Type 90 tank mobile. And this I shall block with okay. Camelot Knight, okay. who shall be destroyed. Okay. Well, I shall draw because you've exhausted yet another card. All right, immortal, it is once again my turn. Mm. Start step, core step, draw step. Uh huh. Refresh step. As the first part of my main step, I will bring Dark King Snake Pendocles up to level three. I shall once again play Dark Knight Aglavale, okay. paying Ho One. Animating up to level two with 3,000 BP. I shall do the same. Yes, Dark Knight Aglavale once again. And then as part of my main phase, I think that I shall play Core Drain. As part of the main phase, select one of your opponent's exhausted spirits, remove up to three cores from it, and place them into their reserve. I would like to take three cores. Okay. And then I am going to attack with Dark King Snake Pendocles. Okay. When I attack, I select one of my opponent's spirits. I remove a core from it and place it in their trash. Guess what? What? I think it's going to be this guy because he's super annoying <laughs> when he levels up. Uh, you know, that's fair. Yeah, it okay. just really cheeses me off. Mm. Uh, I will take the hit. That's, that's, that's 7,000, correct? Are we? I'll take it. Excellent. And then I shall end my turn. All right. Start step, core step, draw step. Oh yeah, this refreshes as well. Okay. I'm going to spend one core. Valkyrie Mist. Uh, when summoned, select one of your opponent's spirits that costs seven or lower and return it to their hand. 
Uh, let's get rid of this one. Fair enough. Then, three cores to play Buster Pinder Cannon. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> let's put this one up to three so that my level two ability happens again where if they attack, they can uh, select a spear that costs three or a few more turn it to their hand. And we'll put three on this one, make it nice and beefy. Uh. And also level two, well, it's not really gonna matter. Let's just, let's just do this one first. Oh boy. For, <laughs> Fortress God Knight uh, is going to attack for 5,000. I selected opponent's spirit that costs three or fewer and return it, so I'm gonna return this to your hand. Shoot, I draw a card because your spirit is exhausted. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Oh. <laughs> However, my burst card activates uh, when you <laughs> lose a life. Select one of your opponent's nexuses and return it to their hand. No! <laughs> uh, I'm dead! All right. I'm dead! <laughs> wow. You win this time, mortal. Thank you. Uh, that was uh, a, 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 good, a good battle. A How good... does it feel, mortal? Uh, it feels pretty good. How are you feeling? You, uh, you okay there? Thanks again to our sponsor, Battle Spirit Saga, for this episode of Overboard. The game comes out on April 28th, but before then, in Las Vegas, there will be a grand tournament from March 25th through 26th. They'll be releasing products for players and giving out cash prizes as well, starting in Las Vegas and continuing throughout the year. If you are interested, sign-ups end on March 19th, and you can visit the official website for more details. Well, you've bested our realm's three greatest champions, and now you're free to go. Cool. Wanna play again? Yeah. Cool. Swap decks? Yeah, sure. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, sure, let's okay. go. Ah. Right. Oh, you win again. Right. You're really good at this. Uh, apparently, yeah. How did you become so proficient at rock, paper, scissors? Oh, you were talking about that. Uh, that's, that's purely chance. Oh, uh, yeah. what? 